Hey everybody, um, just, <clears throat> I was uh, watching some stuff, uh, primarily on Free Domain Radio, which is one of my favorite, um, my favorite websites to visit. Uh, he has a YouTube channel up, um, in the, it's called Stephbot, S-T-E-F-B-O-T, um, Stefan Molyneux, he's sort of, um, he's an anarchist, uh, Philosopher, he's sort of famous for uh, uh, for hosting. The Freedom Aid Radio is the world; it's advocated as the world's largest um, philosophy uh, channel or philosophy podcast. Uh, I wanted to talk about some things that that he was um, saying about WikiLeaks. This is somewhat old; it's from like December of 2010. He has a really good point uh, in it. He he talks about WikiLeaks and and the the right wing obsession about about uh, destroying WikiLeaks and 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 calling Julian Assange a uh, a, a war criminal and stuff like that and you know the thing is a lot of a lot of this talks about or a lot of the um, the arguments against Julian Assange and against WikiLeaks. Uh, talks about how he's endangering the lives of um, political and intelligence operatives around the world, and um, calling him, you know, a, a criminal that should be should be put on trial for treason. Um, the thing is that Julian Assange is not. First of all, he's not an American, so it's hard to put a person uh, under trial for pre for treason if they're not an American. Uh, second of all is that Julian Assange hasn't actually killed anybody. You know, he may he may be putting lives in danger, but then again, we all may be putting lives in danger just even by driving down the road. Um, all that WikiLeaks is really doing is, uh, and Stefan has a really good uh, uh, analysis of it, is that, is that the argument is not so much that... Uh, the person who's actually committing the crime is the criminal, uh, but the person who uh, advocate or the, the person who witnesses the crime and then um, informs everybody else of the crime that's being committed, they're the criminal. Uh, I don't. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't think that uh, that it it holds up at all. So. I don't, I don't know. I'm I really support WikiLeaks. I support the the idea of of eliminating government secrecy, and I know that a lot of people disagree. Like my parents, in particular, my my dad said that uh, you know government needs its secrets, and uh, I I disagree with him. I think that a government that that exists on secrecy is uh, a government that's basically lying to you. Um, so, <clears throat> that's all I really wanted to say in this video, but uh, uh, if anybody else has anything else they want to add, then feel free to let me know. <sighs> On a personal note, concerning the issues I've been having uh, with the Department of Homeland Security, I think it's mostly died down. Uh, I haven't seen any anything threatening in the last couple of months or the last couple of weeks and I'm just uh, I'm glad for it you know it's uh, it's been kind of kind of tough for me to have to deal with uh, having the government on my um, on my doorstep at all times and uh, this kind of uh, this was scary but I'm glad to be somewhat um, uh, glad to be somewhat relieved of the uh, of the the burden of uh, government intervention in my life. Uh, so anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. What's going on? Um, nothing much. But WikiLeaks is is a, um, in my view, it's a it's a force for good. 
And anybody who sees it as anything other than that, um, I'd like to hear their opinions on it. Uh, but I don't want to hear any opinions on, oh, this is, this is for the, the good of the people or this is for the good of the country. Because, because really, it's like if a, gov if a government is doing things that are bad for its people, if the government is doing things that are bad for people, for people around the world, it should not be a secret. And government attempts to, to keep it secret uh, should really be exposed. In that case, you know, I, if the government existed on, on a system of transparency where its files, you know, particularly concerning, concerning journalists that have been killed by the United States government, if, it, if, if, if the government wants to keep that stuff a secret, that only shows that the government exists based on secrecy and it only exists based on lies. Because up until this, uh, up until this, this video was released, uh, the government had maintained that it was that there was terrorists that they killed and not journalists. Um, this is, of course, from like back in December of 2010, November December time frame. So it, it is a little bit dated, but uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Anything else uh, you guys want to talk about? Like, so let me know. I I uh, I'm really interested in hearing what people have to say. Um, and I'm not going to uh, beat anybody down unless they really deserve it. So thanks. Um, I'll keep in touch.